Conservatives have produced a slimline manifesto because they say they want voters to read it. But will they like the message? Channel 4 News has been testing the reaction of electors in the marginal Lancashire constituency of Rossendale and Darwin. Sarah Smith joins us from the town of Roanstall. Sarah. As you know, John, in the complicated arithmetic of any election, lots of constituencies are described as key marginals. This one really does matter, though, because if the Tories can't win this back, then they cannot deny Labour an overall majority. They lost it in 92, and today, as they launched their manifesto, I've been all over the constituency to see if the Conservatives really do have any reason to hope that voters once again here are thinking what they're thinking. Early this morning in Darwin, parents were too busy dropping their kids off at school to watch the Conservatives launch their manifesto. And most of them said they had already decided how they were going to vote anyway. Labour. Have you ever voted Tory? Yes, I have. In uh, Margaret Thatcher's reign, I voted Tory all the time. But you're not tempted to go back to them this time? No, I think they need a more charismatic leader, somebody that I feel confident in. And at the moment, that's Tony Blair. I remember when I was at school and there were Tories were in, and schools are a lot better now than then. There's a lot more, I don't know, there's more for kids to do than what they used to be. Do you think the Tories have changed since the last time they were in government? No. <laughs> Just same, aren't they? The Tories' focus on school discipline was popular, with parents at least, if not with teachers. I've been a head teacher for 15 years and it seems as though education has been at the top of the agenda. It would be quite nice if it moved down the agenda, to be quite honest, and I think that's probably what all head teachers would say. Hot off the press, I took a copy of the manifesto to Rottenstall High Street. Is it indeed a list of the very things voters are thinking? Lower taxes, school discipline, controlled immigration, and more peace. So you, that's a, and cleaner hospitals. <laughs> you, you like this list then, if I you like agree with everything on it? Yep. Were you thinking about voting Conservative? <laughs> no. no. But no. take a look at that list though and see if you actually do agree with any of their policies. Um, let's go discipline. Anything else? Um, lower taxes, cleaner hospitals, mm, more police probably, yeah. So pretty much everything actually. Yeah, more or less, yeah. <laughs> and now you've seen that, might you change your mind? Might you actually consider the Conservatives? Yeah, yeah, consider it, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so would a list like that make you think about voting Conservative? Yes, it, it would. It would, if it happens. Do you, do you trust them to make it happen? Not at the moment. There's a lack of trust, isn't there, with both? No one claims there are any problems with immigration in Rossendale and Darwin, but the Tories are convinced it's an issue voters care about, an issue that could let them win here. But Conservatives can only win if they can win back disaffected Tories in what was a Tory seat until 1992. Golf club member Clive Balchin deserted the party then. This manifesto, though, has brought him firmly back into the Tory fold. How can people be convinced, though, that the Tories will actually deliver on these promises? It's the accountability again. Which is, that's where I'm... I mean, I could, look, I could end up looking the biggest lemon that ever lived, but I just get this feeling with Michael Howard and the team that he has round him, they're going to break it down into bite-sized chunks. If you had to eat an elephant, how would you eat it? In bite-sized chunks. At today's body balance class in Darwin, though, that very plain speaking that's bringing back former Tories is turning others away. I just kind of feel it's snidey and underneath and underhand and not very pleasant. It is a delicate balancing act, appealing to the party's former base and attracting new support as well. But if the Tories can't do it here, they know the result is another Labour majority. Sarah Smith, Channel 4 News, Rossendale and Darwin. Back tomorrow noon again at 7. Good evening. That's Channel 4 News. Channel 4 weather is sponsored by Expedia.co.uk. Create your perfect trip.
Today's satellite sequence shows the lengthy sunny spells that have been seen across many parts. Thicker clouds to the northwest will introduce more unsettled conditions over the next 24 hours. That process will start this evening with persistent rain arriving in the northwest, spreading southeast overnight while becoming increasingly light and patchy. Cooler weather will follow with wintry showers for the northwest and lows around 2 Celsius. The rain will clear slowly southeastwards tomorrow while showers continue in the northwest, heavy at times. Elsewhere, it'll be dry, although thicker cloud will spread from the southwest later, with the risk of some patchy rain. Highs around 16 Celsius. And staying unsettled for Wednesday, with rain clearing to sunshine and showers, those showers continuing for many parts on Thursday, heavy at times. Expedia.co.uk. Create your perfect trip. Eight tonight, Holocaust compensation and the controversial way in which the money is split. After at nine, a climb to the holiest mountain in Asia, going to extremes, explores Tibet. Why do so many of our buildings look the same? Why do we constantly fear invasion? Why are we so obsessed with owning our own tiny little piece of this island? Find out how we, the British, made Britain look the way it does. Simon Thurley's Building Britain, Saturday at 7 on Channel 4.